Uh, let's talk about genetic testing and 23andMe round a week ago, just over a week ago, 23andMe, which is probably the market leader in genetic yeah. testing, uh, launched in Canada. So they're now available to Canadians. It's $199. And I actually went and did this through the U.S. site around four years ago. They've been offering DNA testing uh, since 2007. And get this, 750,000 people worldwide have done it, including 20,000 Canadians. So I want to talk about how it works, how you get it done, and what you can learn from genetic, genetic testing. The process is rather simple. They send you a vial, a tube, you fill it up with saliva, you ship it back to them, and then they do genetic testing, and then you get your results. There are two main things that services like this can uh, information on, and uh, the first thing is health. Uh, and a lot of your risk factors for disease. So this is a uh, sample person that uh, they let anyone who has an account can look at these sample uh, profiles. And you, it shows you your elevated risks for certain things. Now, the good thing about this, it doesn't say you're going to get this or you're going to get that. What it does is it shows you your risk at getting something, the average risk at getting something. It also tells you their confidence in their tests. So there are some tests they don't have as high confidence in. You'll see it as a three-star or two-star test, but then you'll see a four-star test. That means they've got really high confidence in that test being accurate. But again, any of these things, I'll take one thing, restless leg syndrome, they give you a special page on each of these things, and it shows you, again, what your risk is, what an average risk is, and it also uh, uh, talks about the amount of these diseases or risk factors that can be attributed to genetics or the environment, because that's also important as well to know both of those things. It's not all bad news as well. I know this could be risky if you're a hypochondriac. Mm -hmm. uh, you'd think you'd have a whole bunch of things by looking at this, but it also <laughs> shows you your decreased risks as well. So yeah, it'll, it'll, again, it'll average uh, your risk, uh, the average risk of the population, and show you if you're maybe better off, genetically speaking. Um, it also does other things like your drug response, uh, your inherited conditions, which is very interesting as well, because you can imagine, let's say you're adopted, and you can't rely on a father or mother to tell you some of your inherited risk factors. Well, this could answer a lot of questions for you. And the other thing that you can do is look at your ancestry. And this is another interesting thing here. Again, this is a sample account here. And you can see just exactly where you come from. Now, this could also open up a can of worms, not gonna lie. Let's say you did this test and you oh, found out something boy. that you weren't expecting. So, Mom, if Dad. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so if you're gonna use this, you know, think about it, maybe talk to your doctor first if you wanna use it for medical reasons. But entertainment value alone, it's $199, very, very uh, inexpensive for genetic testing. Uh, it may be something very interesting. And you can see relatives across the world. Here are my, these are my relatives across the world that have also used 23 and they're pretty interesting. Lots of relatives well, going on. Lots of that. Yes. Fifth cousins, sixth cousins. But you know, the interesting stuff. thing for me in this whole thing, and I think for a lot of people, is when you think about the medical possibilities, I mean, if we're, yeah. if we're getting this version, which is a sort of, of simple everyman version yeah. of it, think about what they're doing, like in the labs, you of know, course. what this can mean for the future. Anyway, this is going to be very interesting to watch. Elias Makos, thank you. A very, uh, very actually.